People have asked what is Mel doing next, and they answered that in a Facebook Live segment and in the 6.30 mm -hmm. uh, broadcast. They did a 30-minute special yesterday. Uh, Mel will be moving to Dallas, Texas, mm -hmm. where his son and his beautiful grandsons, handsome grandsons, I should say, live, and so he's going to enjoy retirement yeah, right there with that. He is, and, and I don't know if it's been obvious to you over the last month or so, but we love Mel, and we are <laughs> going to miss him terribly. Uh, I'm just really thankful that uh, that we have Pete uh, uh -huh. to step up and and be the man now, and uh, he's going to do a terrific job. You know, we, we've right. said it before: a 50-year career is remarkable in and of itself, but to be 50 years at one station I, is I don't so know. impressive. And, <laughs> I don't but, know if anybody else has ever done that. Well, no, you're honestly, coming, we you're, need to look into that. We're coming pretty close. We've had a lot of longevity in our anchor team. Mm -hmm. Randy, Patrick, John, you have been here for such a long time. More than time. a minute. Yeah. More yeah. than a minute. And, and, and so I think that while uh, Mel's 50 years at WKRG is just remarkable, I also am fascinated by the fact that we've got a lot of people at WKRG that, that are carrying that same torch. Mm -hmm. exactly. yeah, well, I, I, I will say, yeah, I think a lot of that has to do with the, mm -hmm. the shop we work in. Exactly. The respect and the genuine affection that we we all have for one another. Here. We just all love coming to work. Look, I've been <laughs> here 12 years and I'm the newbie. 12 <laughs> years. <laughs> all right. well, we